everyone caleb here with latent gaming next tonight jess g is going with a case of flesh and blood uprising good luck and thank you appreciate the order Let's see what we got jess Did, uh 10 of these boxes last night or 12 of these boxes Let's see what we can do in our case here this evening good luck jess right to it fab uprising uh chris h is coming up after this with a single box of uprising and then jimmy c with an evolving skies and a double masters vip box good luck and then after that matthew d with the sun and moon sampler good luck jess thank you very much for the order here Let's do it. Majestic Toma Duplicity, Foil Sigil. Yeah, let's see some big cold foils. I agree. This takes one or two. Foil breaking points. Cold foil common. Silk and form. This one on the cold foil common. And remember, guys, grab up your group break spots for tomorrow night. It's gonna be another great night. Grab up your group break spots. Foil Skittering Sands. Uh, cold Foil Legendaries are like the really, really big ones. We would love to see a... Uh, love to see a... Uh, I mean, Fabled card especially. Fabled would be nutso. But honestly, like any of the Legendary Cold Foils are big. If you can see uh, Tiger Stripe, that's a really good one to get. Ooh, nice. Majestic. Erase Face. Erase Face is going to be the top Majestic to land. And Foil Ice Binds. Frostbite. Uh, but yeah, there's... I mean, like I said, you really, if you can see any of the legendaries in Cold Foil, you're going to be happy. Foil Trade-In. Tiger Stripe seems to be very, very relevant for uh, Ninja. Very relevant. Got Foil on the uh, Dampen. Where can I get in one of the random Double Masters trap breaks? Here, I'll drop you a link um, for the break schedule. The break schedule, if you scroll down... If you scroll down, I believe there's one tomorrow. Let's see. Yep, tomorrow there is Double Masters Draft and Double Masters Collector. Um, there are two separate breaks. Both are random color style. You can check out if you prefer Draft or Collector. Uh, but they are right there for you. Nice, Will. Good luck on the VMAX Climax as well. Appreciate that, man. Good choice. Good choice. Good luck. Coming up in probably about 45 minutes for you. Foil Dune Breaker. <clears throat> Got a Foil Healing Bomb. Phoenix Flame. Yeah, you re Ooh! Majestic is Take the Tempo. And a Flame Scale Furnace. Rainbow Foil Legendary. Great start, Jess. Congrats. There you go. Very nice. Rainbow Foil Legendary Flame Scale. Congrats, Jess. We'll take that. Very nice legendary. And take the tempo. We'll mag that up for you, Jess. All legendaries get mags. Good start here to the break. Congrats, Jess. Rainbow foil legendary that time. Let's find a cold foil now. Not bad at all, though. Foil dune breaker. Not bad at all. I know Jess is desperately hunting after an Icelander. We'll stoke the flames. That would also be another big goal. Icelander. Yeah, Jess, I was going to say, don't we always hit you flame scale? It's not a bad card by any means, but <laughs> you do seem to you do seem to be uh, followed by that one a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Number six. Holy cow. Foil cold snap. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> That's crazy. Foil silken form. That's nuts. Not too bad at all. He okay, said so this stuff is just awesome though. I mean, you're going with the right set. You are going with the right set. Yeah, that does deserve some uh, trophies. You are definitely going with the right set. Well, Majestic, take the tempo for Ninja. Here you go. 
Yeah, bring one to the shop the next time you're here. It's likely that Brent will be here whenever you stop into the shop. Just bring one along. You and Brent can, uh, you know, meet and talk. You'll be seeing him a lot more in the future around here. You'll be seeing Brent all the time as we get into the new gaming shop and all that stuff. So you better get used to him. <laughs> Rise from the ashes. He'll probably be the one that helps you out a lot of the time, though, Jess. When you do come to the shop, the gaming shop, that is... I would say that would be uh, pretty expected. Majestic Insidious chill there. And we got Foil Sweeping Blow. This one on the Insidious chill. Majestic. Let me actually move this card. Go. Fair, Jess, fair. Brent probably only needs a play copy anyways, so... You don't have to have the fancy fancy for playing. The rainbow would suffice. Nice, man. Good luck. Majestic invo uh, Invoke Dracona. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, crazy. And good luck to you, like I said. Should be a good time. Random color style double masters is so fun. Foil ice bolts. <laughs> yeah, like I said, player copy. It'll work just fine for you. All right, let me move some cards. We'll continue. I, uh, figured. Hey, uh, while I was doing the, uh, fantasy draft, I was looking through the, um, I was looking through, uh, Chris Johnson has a, uh, like, four trade vintage Pokemon binder. So I was looking through that today during the fantasy football draft. There's probably, like, 20 cards I wanted to trade for in that thing. There were so many. <laughs> it's like, I want all of these. I want all of these, Chris. Majestic Frightmare. I was like, we're going to have to sit down one time. We don't want a lot. Oil Critical Strike. Phoenix Flame, some really cool stuff from like every era out there. Base set, all through the Neo, all through the Jungle and Fossil. Literally everything out there that you could ever need. Right up through the EX era. Little e reader series action. He had it all. A little cold snap. <laughs> I did not say Final Fantasy. How did this happen? Majestic Liquify. <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> yeah, see, the appealing thing was that Chris J said that it's his four trade binder, meaning that those are the cards that he specifically wants to trade. So that's what made it really interesting. <laughs> That's what made it really interesting. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty inner. Ooh, cold foil on the silent. Nice. Cold foil steel toes there for you. Not too bad, Jess. Steel toes, cold foil. Uh, so yeah, it made it really appealing because, you know, he's trying to move on with that stuff and find other stuff. Um, what, like I was going to say on the Final Fantasy, though, yeah, I will, uh, I will certainly allow Brad to stock some on Monday, Scott. We do have a case here that did arrive recently. Um, so yeah, we'll get some in stock for Monday night with Brad for his personals. Majestic Double Strike, Foil Read the Ripples. Uh, I will not be ripping that product. Kind of just like how Brad doesn't rip Japanese magic or stuff like that. Uh, they will be in stock for Brad on Monday night. Uh, foil blaze i know there's a couple of people looking for them you're looking for them dan Stefan. there was a few people rob was looking for him again toma firebrand majestic dune breaker foil so yeah definitely stop in on monday night with brad he will have some around 
Majestic Invo Domnia, Foil Spellfire Cloak. And that is a Cold Foil Heat Wave. Nice one. Cold Foil. Here you go, Jess. Uh, it's just not going to happen, Lane. I'm just not going to stock it. No option. <laughs> no option, Lane. It's That's obviously the best part, friends. Is that we do get to just work in something that we really do enjoy. Yeah, I would expect it, Scott, to probably be in stock somewhere between 5 and 6 p.m. on Monday. Ooh... Ooh. Foil brand. But I can also uh, shoot a Discord over to... Or uh, Instagram to uh, Jess, I should say. Wow! Big hit! Invoke Tumultai! Boom! Best Marble Dragon! Congrats! Very, very nice. Congrats there, Jess. Sick card for you. There you go. We'll mag that up. That's nice. That's crazy, Lane. That's crazy, Lane. Wow. Congrats, Jess. That's big. That is big. Nice way to close out the first half. Yeah, right, Brent? Such a great shot. Arctic Incarceration on the foil, Phoenix Flame. Yeah, that's like the toughest one to hit by far, Jess, I would say. It's got to be the toughest one to hit. Transmogrify foil. Majestic, take the tempo. Foil, Majestic, combustion point. Go, Jess. Uh, yeah, we did some of the Weiss Marvel cards. The Japanese Weiss Marvel cards, crazy. Those were very hot. They pretty much sold out in like a day or two. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to get more of them, I don't think. But yeah, uh, those were super hot when we did have them in. Foil Sigil of Protection. Phoenix Flame. They're really cool. What about you, man? Majestic Vipox. Foil Rise Up. Romai. Oh, gotcha. So you're talking about the, uh, yeah, the uh, Metal Marvel. Yeah, interesting. I was talking about the uh, Japanese Weiss Marvel. Yeah, Metal Marvel in um, some of those, like, upper deck produced products are pretty interesting. Oil Arctic Incarceration. Oh, definitely interesting. Oil Flex and an Icelander. All right, we got two boxes to go. Let me move some more bulk. Continue. Brent, I big time underestimated how many 5,000 count boxes I was going to need. Big time underestimated, Brent. Especially after last night, Brent. Oh my goodness. I was done after the first, like, two hours. Sitting there making one. <laughs> I didn't make it on stream, but at the end of the night I did. I was like, oh my goodness. There was, like, a 17 booster box order, a 10 booster box order... A four, and then like just a bunch of like one, 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 three. Like, <laughs> I, I stood no chance. I stood no chance at all. Nice lane. Yeah, it wasn't like we didn't have more of them around lane. I just didn't. Uh, Brent had asked right before he left if he wanted to, uh, if I wanted more of them made. I was like, nah, I'll be good. Way, way wrong. I needed like two more. <laughs> needed like two more. Majestic, take the tempo. Foil, Aether Ice, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I big time underestimated uh, how popular the Friday night personal stream is going to get. It was, uh, it was popping. Foil Singe. It wasn't like a problem by any means to, you know, make more of them. It was just funny because right before brent was leaving he's like you sure you don't want more it's like nah i'll be good for sure i'll be good foil majestic on the phoenix form Ooh, another silent steel toes cold foil Here you go 
Hey, Silent Steel Toast again. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very wrong. And uh, all of a sudden, the big orders started rolling on in. If I was, uh, there were base cards. But yeah, it was all good. Just funny. Majestic Vipox, foil Reed Ripples. Not a big deal, just funny. Silk Inform Foil. Foil Arctic Incarceration. Nice, Invoke Chromon. There you go, Chess. Nice hit. Marble Dragon there for you. Very solid. That isn't Steel Toes, I know. It's close, though. Steel Toes, Heels, same thing. Foil Dust Runner. Frostbite. Yeah, now it's just Steel Toes, right? Uh, foil Lava Bursts. Exactly. So appreciate everyone that just has come to accept that with me. It's uh, very kind of you. Brothers in Arms on the foil. Uh, Phoenix Flame. Foil Ice Bolt. Bye. Foil Transmogrify, Icelander. If you do still want a personal, there is still space to get it in. Feel free. LatentGaming.com. Anything that you can find with the Rip It option goes into the queue for personals. <coughs> Excuse me. Majestic there on the Frost Tips. Yeah, they are made of paper, crazy. So I'm going to open this one. Uh, let's see. How can I do this? Let's see. Stays on camera. So listen, this is nice and close to the mic. See, I still got it on camera. See, hear it. It's literally paper. <laughs> it's literally paper. Foil skittering sands. It's crazy. So yeah, they open up very easy. Majestic spreading flames. Foil ice binds. Yeah, they're exactly. They're all recycled material. Yep. I know, man. <laughs> Foil flex. They're just a little bit dusty. That's like the only complaint. They produce like this little tiny bit of white dust every now and then. But other than that, like, it's, it's nice. Yeah, I know, Jess. <laughs> Majestic rewind. Foil dune breaker. <laughs> nice one there. Rewind. Yeah, the noise that they make is great. Very, uh, very relaxing for myself. That's probably why Fab is, like, one of my favorite soap. <laughs> Man, the welcome to Wraith Packs used to not quite be as easy. Yeah, exactly. I have to use hand cream so often with Fab. The release days I'll be leaving at night, like, hands are, like, almost nearly bleeding. <laughs> Phoenix lame one box left here yeah there's been some the uprising release weekend was pretty intense for my hands <laughs> i was the only one ripping at that time still fingers were in rough shape rough shape <laughs> Oh, man. Right, crazy. Yeah, it is super odd. It is super odd. You're not wrong, crazy. Empty here, guys. Let's get it one last one up. It is super weird the way that they're still. Thanks, Jess. Majestic that all you got. Foil read the ripples. Solid start on the Majestic. Rapid Reflex Foil. Icelander. Foil Blaze. Nice, Dan. Heck yeah, man. Majestic Semblance, Foil Dune Breaker. Never a bad way to do it. I'll be doing the same thing when I get home. 
seeing how I did on uh, a couple of sports breaks tonight. I'll be doing the same thing. Cooking up some food and doing that. Let's see how I did. Oil polar cap. Throw my... Majestic channel the bleak expense. Oil billowing mirage. Yeah, isn't that cool? That card is so sick. <laughs> that card is so sick. Nice channel. Yeah, save the double masters draft for uh, last in. Oil spellfire cloak. What sport? Um, what sport? Crazy. Nice invoke the my. Wow, three marvel dragons, one case. Knock off Charizard. There you go. Tell me that does not look like Charizard, though. Totally knocked him off. Yeah, you did really good on the, uh, the, uh, uh, draft in. Yep. Phoenix Flame. NBA or NFL? It's tough, man. It's tough. NBA, maybe something like Recon Basketball. It's only about $200 a hobby box. You still get two autos, some, uh, cool-looking inserts, and a couple of numbered cards. And for about $200 a hobby box, it's tough to find something that's going to really, like, beat that price and still have NBA jerseys and stuff like that. NFL is pretty tough. You're going to easily be getting into the four to 500 range fast. And then even some of those boxes are still pretty sketchy for personals. Majestic Thaw, Foil Rebellious Rush. Yeah, I've been hearing people talk about that a lot, Lane. Foil Majestic is channeled the bleak expense. It's pretty tough right now, though, with um, with NBA and NFL products. They are expensive for licensed products. They are expensive, to put it simply. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like for the price, it's not it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be something that you're gonna be absolutely like bummed if you don't have the craziest box either for the price it makes sense <laughs> majestic invoke dracona wow ghostly touch rainbow foil legendary great case and that was the other dragon you needed no way jess great case here congrats Awesome hits. Here you go. We'll mag that up. And a Dracona. Yeah, Lane, I was seeing some WWE Select other places for um, cheaper than what we offer even, and I might have to look into that. It's not too often that you can beat our price, though. Majestic Fog Down, Foil Critical Strike. Makes sense, though, Lane. Those make sense. Well, transmogrify. Uh, what's with it? It's just like, so when WWE Prism released, it was like a thousand dollars a box or something nuts. So, um, and WWE Select released for only about two hundred dollars a box. So usually Prism and Select are like kind of at least comparable in price, not necessarily the same. Um, but it's just like an appropriately priced product, basically. You can still hit some really cool stuff. Foil Oasis Respite. Yeah, I mean, like, if you were really gonna, like, I mean, if you have the budget for it, probably Prism Basketball or Optic Football, like, stuff like that still. But it's just, like I said, a hobby box of that is gonna be in the eight to 900 range for each of those, respectively. But yeah, Lane, you're not wrong. I mean, strategic planning. Foil cold snap. You do hit one of those rookie colors. You'll make out for sure. But yeah, WWE Select, you're going to be getting two autographs and a, a relic card and then uh, multiple numbered cards. So you're just going to have some value in terms of uh, the amount of hits that you're getting. Majestic in case, foil lava vein. And then with like the chance to find like low numbered hits, like uh, tw to 25 or less, to 10 or less, stuff like that, those will be huge cards in uh, the first year of WWE Select. So it's tough to find like another product that you can spend like 
200 bucks on a box and still walk away with a card that could be over four digits. And WWE Select does offer that. Foil Aether Dart. Foil Fiendall. That is, that is one... Uh, I mean, not that you're guaranteed that by any means, but it's tough to find anything like that out there. Foil Ice Bolts. And Phoenix Flame. And last battle. Not really usually that option doesn't usually exist much foil rebellious rush and last pack is a cold foil glacial horns awesome case chest thanks again so much appreciate the order there we will have all of them well protected up and right out to you thank you again for grabbing it much appreciated